Yo, yo. Y'all still tuned in in there? Yes, sir. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. And today, we do have RBE versus URL, The Sabotage, Part 2. Yes, sir. What we doing out here? Piper Boy Williams, you got some insight on this, sir? I think he do, man. Yes, sir. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. This is URL versus the RBE, The Sabotage, Part 2. And Piper Boy William pipe, pipes in on this. No point intended. Y'all ready? Yo, what's happening there? What's that I see? Don't tell me. Come on, man. I know it's Sunday. They closing down jobs and all that. Coronavirus Sunday in here. But y'all in there on that couch? Go clean up. Go wipe some down. Go make some breakfast. Might be lunch at a couple of places. Go do some. Anything but be on that couch. Because you know you can't get this money if you in there sleep on that couch, man. Let's go, man. Dirt Gang TV. We rolling. Yikes. The side block. No. It's Curvy Low, nigga. You are now tuned into Bossman Tough Beats. Y'all niggas already know what it is, man. Shout out from all the 30s, man. All the way from 35th and Edgecombe, all the way to Crenshaw, man. Y'all already know what it is. 30s, man. All the mafia, man. Side block shit. Let's get it, my shit. Talking to the government. I'm the best ever. I'm the nigga that I'm done it and did it to spit it uplifted talented to get this dance I'm just a Brooklyn crit from a Harlem set show some respect if not cuz put it in check I'm up next this is your boy Harlem Smiley man and you are tuned in to the one and the only Dirt Gang TV and today we got a nice one for y'all man this is URL versus RBE The Sabotage part 2 man we did part 1 so if you didn't watch part 1 go back Cause this time Piper Boy William pipes in on the situation. So for all y'all who not in tuned in the game, who wondering what's going on right now. So URL, RBE, both had events that were scheduled on February 29th. Leap year. Coincidence? URL? Maybe. RBE? Totally different story, my guy. <laughs> so, you know, it's not the first time this didn't happen. Two years ago, ARP made some accusations. Accusations. That Smack paid off some battlers. And the URL paid off some battlers to come paddle at their event on 8-18-18. Instead of going to the RBE event on 818. <laughs> so you see the trend that's happening here? So ARP after this time felt like, all right, y'all had to pick the same day I picked. Y'all had to do a free event. And y'all launching caffeine. Y'all got Drake and all that. You going to do this on the same day as, as me? All right. No problem. I'm still going to put my event out. It is what it is. But he felt some kind of way about the situation. So after both events came out, one was good, one was not. One had a good stream, one was not. Some will say you get what you pay for. But he also felt like he needed to come out and let people know what was going on. Like this is just no coincidence. URL. Smack, Beasley, it's no coincidence. But one thing about me, it's good to have your own channel. I'm not subjected to nobody. Nobody can tell me what to do on my channel, who to talk about, who not to talk about. It is what it is. Nobody pays my bills but me. So with that being said, I do like the competition standpoint of the situation, but... I don't like the sneakiness behind it. You feel like you got somebody, you know, a strong number two. Don't knock them out. Y'all the heavyweights. Prove it. Put your put put your title on the on, on the line like the old boxers used to do. But don't take out the pattern inside your gloves. Y'all already know the discrepancy coming behind that. It's more to that story, but anyway, it's a whole nother blog for a whole nother time. Anyway. Piper Boy Williams. Comes out after ARP drops the blog and says, yo, 
This is what URL's been doing. They've been playing unfair. It's been an unfair fight, but yet we still here and we still number two. So Piper Boy William comes out and say, <coughs> ARP, even though I understand what you're saying, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have said it. URL, you got footage on there. They can take the footage down if they wanted to. They can pretty much do a lot to hurt you if they wanted to. This is what he's telling ARP. So in other words, if I was you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do this again. Don't go against the big dogs. That's what he's saying. Now, everybody right know Piper Boy Williams is literally, he's probably my third favorite blogger. Right behind DJ Ghost and right behind uh, Vodafly. He's probably my third best blogger. So, it's not like I got something going on with RBE. That's the whole reason why I'm talking like this now. Because I don't feel like Piper Boy Williams in this instance, I feel like he was wrong. You shouldn't have told ARP not to go. That's like telling the small companies never go against the big companies. Never do anything to try to mess up the big companies because they could just knock you out. Nah, this is not what we're here for. Especially me as being somebody who has always went against the green. Who has always defeated the odds and still turned out to be good. I come from a city where blood started first and there was a whole bunch of bloods everywhere. Crips was always outnumbered. But... I succeeded. I went the other route. And now you see for slowly 20 years later, it shifted. That's why we put in that hard work for. You can't tell this man because they're small and number two. He can't go over there and go against smacking them. Nah, because if he wasn't that important, they wouldn't be paying battle rappers to not come on his platform. So now let's really dig deep and let's really get into it, right? So, six months ago, you uh, a, uh, RBE had an event. The event didn't go so well. This is when the Cassidy battle was out. Or oh, I just finished. The Mook fight had happened. You know, a lot of people were talking about those scenarios. ARP didn't have a great event. Let's be for real. The event wasn't a good event. It wasn't a good event. So, People talked about it not being a good event. Went ahead and continued to talk about the Cassidy and the um and the uh the Mook fight, the Mook and Briz fight. But ARP felt some kind of way that Piper Boy Williams did a blog saying about he didn't do no blog saying promoting the event, but he did a blog saying how bad the event was and telling people that you know not saying. How bad the event was afterwards, but beforehand, on paper, it didn't look very good. So he wasn't copping the pay-per-view. He was getting the bootleg. So it was a lot of people saying that, oh, they was getting the bootleg, they was getting the bootleg, they wasn't copping it. And a lot of people didn't get the pay-per-view, from what I'm hearing. It wasn't one of his better pay-per-view sales, RBE. So he felt like, hey, you know, Piper Boy Williams, you know, went ahead and talked about it. ARP then responds, and he is killing Piper Boy Williams, and he is killing Debo inside of his blog. But then Piper Boy Williams come back, and he drops a blog, kind of kills ARP off in the blog. Call him a farm league, and you know he laughed it off. I like Piper Boy Williams. I feel like he. When it came down to him versus somebody else, what? I know somebody who it definitely ain't going to be back on this man sauce on his ribs. That was the funniest thing. I said, what? Head ice? What? Yo. <coughs> he killed head ice off. I like Piper Boy. But in this instance, I feel like what you doing to RBE is just totally false. It's totally wrong. I know y'all got y'all disagreements. Because after that, y'all left it alone. After you dropped the blog saying it wasn't a good event, you wasn't copping the uh, pay-per-view. You was getting the bootleg. 
ARP goes out, say, oh, he was copying off DJ Ghost. He drops a blog to my Debo crying. He kills it all. Like, nice little blog. I'd never seen no league owner do that before. I was I watched that like three times. And then you drop a blog. See what I'm saying? Farm, yo, listen. What? That I love that blog Piper Boy Williams did. That was a great blog. That was a great back and forth between blogger and league owner. Great back and forth. And then y'all left it alone. It was good. But now, here we go all over again. Round two, fight. So, of course, ARP just recently, just earlier today, responds to Piper Boy Williams yet again. Piper Boy, you know what he said? You got the same seat as DJ Ghost. <laughs> you got the, you do you steal clips? <laughs> you try to go in on you. And then you came back with a vent. But now this one, I'm waiting for the response. This is like when Drake dropped back to back. I need the response from you, Piper Boy Williams. He basically saying, son, you work for URL. He's trying to say you that little pony boy. I know you don't work for URL, but I don't know what you got behind the scenes flowing. If you do, that's this the good part about it is. URL probably not going to like these little sabotage blogs. It is what it is. Nobody pays my bills. Videos get flagged. It is what it is. This is not my main money. I just like to talk about topics that I like to talk about. I like battle rap. Good part about it. That's why I like Paperboy Williams. He is super smart. ARP, another one. Super smart. It's almost like y'all really like the, the same kind of person. One's just a blogger. One is just a, uh, you know, one's just a, a, a league owner. But what he's basically saying is, you know, it's like you just go for the views. You in it for the views. Which everybody's in it for the views. Let me tell you this, ARP, everybody is in it for the views. We not just doing this just to get 200 views, 400 views, 600 views. Nah, you trying to get into the thousands every views. And if you want them people averaging 100,000 views, you ain't trying to get no 1,000 views, 2,000 views. Imagine if you dropped the battle on YouTube and it only got like four, or 5,000 views. You sitting there like, what? For all those out there, four or five thousand views is cool for for per video when you're putting out a lot of videos. You are not gonna get paid a lot of money for doing a video that got four to five thousand views. Let's just be for real. Like, you know, you're not getting paid a lot of money off of that. So listen, this is heating up a little bit, guys. Brick by brick. He broke out the Sin City game on y'all. Piper Boy, you gotta respond to this one. He hit you with the Sin City brick bop. You, that was a crazy scheme by ARP. That was a crazy scheme. ARP with the Sin City Super Nintendo scheme. I like this game. You got to build this game brick by brick. It teach you how to be a boss. How to run stuff. How to manage things. Yo, what? That was a cool scheme right there. ARP, I peeped it. Pipe Boy, you got to respond to this one. And you my favorite, so I don't want to sound like I'm coming at you on here, man. You see what I'm saying? But come on, son. You got to respond to this one, son. I want to see some. I want to see the dedication when you was trying to put the sauce on them ribs. That was, yo, I need something like that. That was super funny. You had me and not kill Hell Dice right off. <laughs> Hell Dice, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's crazy. Back to Matt Hoffa. Anyway. So, yo, URL, I still ain't hear no response from y'all yet. No denying the allegations. What's happening, URL? What y'all doing? Y'all on quiet time right now? Do you know what time we on, right? We on quiet time, right? Come on, URL, where's the response at? Are y'all really out here? We knew this already, but now it's just confirmed. Dude, murder Mook's mouth, because you know. A lot of dry snitching going on in battle rap. You know who I want to see respond to this? 
I want to see Beasley respond to this. I don't even want to see Smack respond to this. Because you know one thing I like about ARP through this whole thing? He's been super respectful. He ain't been ripping nobody down. I know the blog like six months ago, it was a little crazy. He ain't been tearing nobody down. It seemed like he's literally just a genuine business owner trying to just make himself better. He's not trying to step on nobody's toes. He's not trying to, um, you know, say he's the best battle league. But when you're doing any kind of work, I don't care what it is, you should always want to strive to be the best. If not, you got to give the best a run at their money. It's no problem with being a number two. Number three, everybody can't be number one. But you should always strive to try to be the best. I don't care what you're doing. If you're blogging, you should try to be the best blogger. If you're a league owner, you should try to be the best league owner. If you're a battle rapper, you should try to be the best battle rapper that's out there. You shouldn't be complacent at just being a number two, a number three. It's okay if, if that's what you end up staying at. But as long as you worked your hardest to try to make a run at number one, if they outbeat you, they outbeat you. At least you can't say you try. But you won't know unless you try. So that's why I feel like in this instance, Piper Boy, your uh your advice was just it, it was just wrong. You see what I'm saying? I would never tell a smaller league to not try to better themselves. When you go to work and you work regular job and you see the man just sitting there doing their thing, they just got there before you. Does that mean because that man just cool and, you know, they do what they're supposed to do that you're not supposed to try to work up to get that spot? Nah. They may be a good manager, but you may be a better manager. You're never going to know that until you actually try to take that spot, until you try to actually get in that position. You're never going to know unless you try. See what I'm saying? So in this instance, ARP, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You was right. You was right there. You still right there. King of the dot kind of slid off some. You right there. Queen of the ring is no longer a threat. They pretty much under smack. They smack little homies now. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Don't worry about Debo. Waste your time. Don't even worry about that. Right now, you the only one that's giving them a number, two, uh, uh, a nice run for their money. But these up and coming leagues, John John the Don League. Um, Guardians of the Culture, Gates of the Gardens, these other little small leagues right there. UW was right there. If you was talking leagues before, you was talking URL was number one. Uh, you was talking King of the Dot was number two. You was talking RBE was number three. And then UW was right there at number four. See what I'm saying? They had pretty good. There wasn't a long lasting stint with UW, but they had, they had the good hosts. That Jack, he was funny. That dude is funny. Arsenal can promote anything through battle rap. They had it going. See what I'm saying? So now with that flip-flop, you got bullpen, guardians of the culture, gates of the garden. Not even count all in Philadelphia leagues. See what I'm saying? It's a lot of leagues. Speaking of bullpen, why did all of y'all go to Atlanta anyway and do that to John? Y'all better leave Atlanta alone, man. Y'all know Atlanta is like John John the Don home base. Y'all know y'all got to go everywhere but Atlanta. Don't try to take over Atlanta. Leave that to John John the Don. Let him kill that circuit off. But anyway. Piper Boy, I want to hear a response. Because I'm not even going to lie. This was a good response from ARP. This was a good response from ARP. I need to hear your your back to back response. I need to. Are you gonna be Meek Mill, or are you gonna be Drake, or is this gonna be a Nas versus Jay Z situation? Yeah, he won a battle, but did not win the war. See what I'm saying? What kind of situation? URL Beasley in particular, Beasley. You need to respond to this. Listen, even uh, Norbs came out, had a little quick little clip. He had to respond to this. See what I'm saying? Had to res We still waiting for Adi Boom's Adi Boom to the front of the congregation real quick. Adi Boom to the front of the congregation. I'm going to be honest with you. I knew it was something weird about you. 
the way you talk, the way you act during the face off, some just seem off about you. I'm one of I'm a very normal person, but I read into people very well. With, like I was able to do that all the time, but once I started learning how to play poker and reading people like that, I learned how to use that to use to my everyday advantage into reading into people. So just reading your body language and reading what kind of person you was, you kind of gave off the snitch vibe. And being that, I'm somebody who'd have been in and out of jail and I'd have been snitched on twice. You know why they gonna come, you know why Adi Boom ain't gonna come out with no paperwork? Cause there is no paperwork for him to come out with. That paperwork is authentic. That is all listen, I'd have been snitched on twice. When you get snitched on, at the end of the day, once the dude is in safety, out of harm's way, they must at some point in time give you that paperwork. They must give you that paperwork. See what I'm saying? So it's no way, no how. He don't have paperwork. Because his paperwork say the same thing that that paperwork say. That's why y'all ain't going to see Adi Boom with no paperwork. Adi Boom, you out here 6 9 snitching? You too big light-skinned to be snitching. If you snitch, you should shave that beard off. That beard is wisdom. That beard is for hood niggas. That beard is only for people who don't run around here snitching. You got to shave your beard off, Adi Boom. You got to change your name. Your name can't be Adi Boom no more. Your name got to be Snitch Boom. Snitch Boom. Because that's what happened. We running around. I snitch and then it boom. Come on, Snitch Boom. You got to be kidding me. Adi Boom, you can now leave the front of the podium and go back to the rest of the congregation. Adam, as a matter of fact, no, 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 stay right here. Adi Boom, you thought you was going to snitch, get out of jail, then come back to battle rap, and none of that was going to come out the play. The Lord said, what two in the dark shall come to light? You out here snitching, they done talked to the dude via jail? They done talked to one of your co-defendants in jail? Y'all out here waiting for Adi Boom paperwork. Let me be the first one to tell you, it ain't coming. It ain't coming. Because y'all seen his paperwork already. It says the same exact thing that his paperwork said. Snitch Boom, come on, son. Your battle rap career is over. I can't even put you on a Jack Boy main list. I can't even put you on a list. You can't even ride the bench. You can't travel with the team. You just got to retire. Vince Carter style. You got to retire, and when do you didn't even want to retire? Shout out to Vince Carter. Corona's a bastard. You got to you gotta retire like Vince Carter. Unwillingly. Not on your own accord. All right, Adi Boom, to the back of the congregation. Anyway. <laughs> I had to bring this food to the front of the congregation. I can't believe you out here. Man, I almost brought you back to the... Anyway. Piper Boy. Beasley, I need to hear the response. URL, what's up with these allegations, baby? He done came out with one like over a week ago. This is round two. Mainly towards Piper Boy, but still shooting shots at Beasley. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man, and you have been tuned in to the one and the only Dirt Gang TV. And if you rock with us, man, because we got all different kind of content on this channel. Subscribe, man. That's it. I'm not out here begging for the cash app and all that like a lot of these bloggers and battle rappers out here doing. That's it. Hit the subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Notification bell. Y'all know what it is, man. The like, man. One time for your boys. Hit the like, man. It's a thumb. Turn from white to blue. And if not one, put up two, man. Dirt game, man. We rolling, man. Ninth Street, man.